Any other questions? I just happened to work this way, but uh, Mr. Berman, I believe you came in from Mexico today, yesterday? Yeah. All right. So my question is, I'm going to read a little bit from the platform, and then I'll ask you all to discuss it in uh, 3.4. Free trade and migration, it says, economic freedom demands the unrestricted movement of human as well as financial capital across national borders. Uh, yeah, so I've gone back and across, back and forth across that border, in and out of other, uh, from Mexico to Belize uh, with a boat, um, and it's really fascinating to see how many holes there are in the security system where you can actually skirt around a lot of these rules and go between countries, bringing stuff that you're not supposed to bring, and bringing money, bringing other things, whether it's uh, drugs or electronics, because actually a lot of countries like to tax electronics. I was in Uganda. And man, the, the import laws that they have there are so bad that it costs you thirty to forty thousand dollars to buy a used car that was wrecked in the United States and then rebuilt. So it's it's really pretty insane. And we need to get rid of all these laws and restrictions, and we need to be the leaders. If we're mad at China for having their their uh, restrictions and, and taxes on imports and exports, well, why don't we show them that we're better than them by getting rid of them and be and lead by example and show these other countries how that works better for our economy? That opens up to more trade partners. And it's better for everybody. So if I understood the question correctly, it's addressing both trade and <coughs> crossing. Yes, it says and, yes. and I would I would say that I think all libertarians would agree with trade. I don't think there's any um, any uh, discussion really needed there. However, there is uh, there are some people who are suggesting that perhaps we shouldn't have open borders. Perhaps we should slow down immigration until we fix our welfare state. I know that's been an undercurrent. First of all, I believe we need to follow our party platform. However, we need to explain this persuasively to non libertarians And part of my job is to do research, and I can tell you that uh, the, there are fewer criminals among the people who have crossed the border than not. And it doesn't reduce everybody's pay. And there are many other arguments. As, as the nominee, I would be sure to know all of them. Yeah, so once again, two questions. And uh, you know, both questions are challenging in their own ways, right? Uh, we talked about the international trade model. The international trade model only works if all countries are democratic. Because in the system, in theory, the jobs go to the low-wage country. That country then sees its wages rise, it sees environmental protections rise, and that, that balances the market. If you have a democracy, competing is a non-democracy. For the medium term, the non-democracy has a significant advantage, and that does undermine the status of the, the democracy, right? So like it or not, free trade with oppressive regimes does hurt the economy of the United States of America. And to her point, uh, we have had a nation of immigrants for centuries. It has worked out very well for us. Uh, there's a difference between an open border and a and, and managed integration. Uh, I think we can all agree that we do want more people coming. Hopefully, we all agree that we can. Should be diverse. But you know, at the end of the day, we do have to be able to bring more talent, bring more people into the United States of America. Speaking of again, two questions. Speaking on the issue of uh, free trade. Uh, absolutely, we should be able to trade freely, and other countries should be able to treat, trade freely in the United States with the people here. Um, I do believe that there is a role in, uh, in the international stage for uh, economic sanctions, uh, primarily in that case, responding in tit for tat fashion. If somebody wishes to try to harm us by imposing sanctions on us, I think it's entirely reasonable to respond. Uh, actually, game theory tells us that that is the best way to get people to come to agreement when, when you're dealing with those situations. Dealing with uh, the movement of people for free immigration. Uh, I love Max's point about uh, legal, re-legalization because that applies to immigration as well. There used to be a time when anybody who came to the United States could could come here. That was the Ellis Island model. They could come here, they could, they could uh, live, they could work. We asked them to do a couple of things before they came in. To document that they were here, to uh, go through a medical check to make sure that they weren't bringing any chemical diseases, and to make sure that they had a place to stay, that they had a job lined up, that they knew what they were doing. That seems entirely reasonable to me, and it's not hampering the flow of people. It's simply making sure that we are taking care of the people.